Are you recording? Yep. Oh, hey y'all. So I finished plucking my wig. Now I'm over here washing my hair to prep it for my braids and oil and stuff like that. So basically, after I'm done washing my hair, I'm gonna go in with some leave-in conditioner, leave my hair to condition. And then I'm going to start uh, bleaching my wig. So Jazz will put the camera on the stove. Y'all will see the water is boiling for my wig. And I'm going to be adding bleach and developer shortly. And then I'm going to let the wig die. And then shortly after that, as I let it die, I'm going to rinse the water off, shampoo it, condition it. Let it sit in some deep conditioning things because you know I did just bleach it and then rinse it. So now I'll be ready to install. So stay tuned. It's about to get real. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I just finished washing and added some leave in conditioner to my head. So now I have to bleach my wig. So. I am doing the um, method I learned from my hairstylist. She actually, oh, here you go. Um, she actually helped me um, dot my first wig on FaceTime. So now I'm about to do exactly what we did on FaceTime here. I'm going to add the wig in the water. Oh, this shit hot. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Too hot. Okay. So I'm adding the wig. I'm gonna add some more hot water. Just to drink it up a little bit. Okay. So the wig is added. So now I'm about to add my mixture. Can you pass me the um developer bay? You don't know what that is? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, since <laughs> they all in a way. Oh shit. Oh that shit is strong. Yes. <clears throat> Let me add some more This is how it's looking. It's looking very much like toothpaste, which is the look we are going for. So let me wash this shit out of my face. And I am going to thoroughly clean my sink for those mamas that be watching me. All the sink, all this, all that. I got it, Miss Shirley. <laughs> okay. So, so, this is the creation. So now we're just gonna throw this all up in there. Now I know I don't have gloves, but 
Baby, it got to get done, okay? So I may or may not have to dye my legs after. But just in case I do, I mean just in case I don't, I'm just gonna put the whole lace in there. Okay. So I will let this sit for about 15. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to get this. I'm not gonna with this roll ever again for those who forget. I mean not who forget, but for those who watch these. Taste none of that is so strong. Yeah. And we're going to let this sit for a good 15. And then we're going to move on to the color and packaging. I hope y'all ready. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. So look. I let it stay for a couple. Luckily, it looks like I don't have to bleach my knots because they look bleached already, which is right up my alley. I'll probably touch it up a little bit with some um, bleach, but for the most part, this baby right here is good. So, Dana, are you gonna bring no tripod? So this is the wig. You see how we went from Beyonce nose to fucking, oh no, but we went to something. Watch, I'm just gonna be giving scissor. But the reason it's so blotchy and patchy is because before, y'all know the wig was um already bleached or a different color. So now, <clears throat> it's a love process which is why I'm about to shampoo it and decondition it before I go in with the rinse. And, yep, stay tuned. Even though it shedded just a little bit because of the process, um, the hair is still like pretty thick, which is a good thing. So I'm gonna try to do the bottom portion first. Let's see how it takes. This is back in the to go in with some leave-in conditioner because I put it in right after I did the bleach and it didn't really hold it. So leave-in conditioner. I can't wait to just get on my hair. And now it's time for the hard part. This. Y'all see 
this perfect red here. Silky to the bone. Got that little natural highlight where it's the little black at the top. But I love it like that. Hey y'all, so I'm back. And honestly, y'all gonna be real mad at me if y'all see these fat ass wig braids underneath this wig. But I don't care because I'm the one that gotta do it. And I'm the one that gotta put up with it, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna go over this with the gel. And I'm just gonna let that sit. Actually, I'm about to go over it with this makeup brush and just smooth that on back to give it a little bit more to work with. Is the wig y'all okay so now um it really came out really good honestly um it ain't perfect but it can definitely be worse knowing from the work that, that I have done before so this is where I want the wig to lay so um I'm about to add it here glue there Glue here and glue there. Y'all see that? Now when I lift the wig up, when I lift the wig up, baby, I know where to connect the dots. So now, okay, I was time to put the wig back on. So lay the middle first. Come over. Lay the sides. Oh. Lay them sides, baby. And then, last but not least, move this here. Lay that bitch right here. Right here, honey. Okay. Like, I don't know if y'all can really get the view that I'm getting, but baby. This is one of them, one of them ones, okay? So, I am actually about to let this sit for a little bit before I go ahead and do anything else. I have a scarf that I'm about to put on it so we could lay down for a little bit and then I'll get to styling, cutting, and all that extra stuff. Okay, y'all, so before i even tie it down i want to show y'all what i'm working with so i just sprayed some spritz on it so far now i'm gonna go in with some of this um i'm trying to see how to just put the camera like this i know it's a fucked up view but y'all can do so i'm gonna use this um super hose spray spray my edges so it can melt now i'm gonna go over with this, I just cut this up to put over my fucking head. And, hmm. Honey, child, please. Pay who to do my hair anymore? I see. It ain't horrible, honestly. And I thought it was gonna come out a lot worse because I never like plucked a wig and installed it. Like I always reinstalled something. But it's a great start for everything new. And I'm taking a hair class um, in like a week or so. So book y'all appointments, girls. But so now I'm gonna spray this back and start hot combing it. Cause like I said, my fucking braids is lumpy as fuck. So I gotta make sure this is as flat as possible. Okay y'all, so this is after it's melted. 
and stuff. I just gotta clean off some of this glue residue. But before I do that, I'ma just get into my edges. So, um, I really don't have nothing to sit y'all up on. So y'all just gonna have to wait until these babies is laid, okay? So y'all, so I um put it in a ponytail and I laid everything and I'm just basically waiting for my edges and stuff to melt down a little bit better. Okay y'all, so this is the finished product. I don't know if y'all can see that well. Let me try to flip it a little bit. It ain't perfect, but it ain't all that bad either. Um, it's definitely giving them, yes, red. You know, it looks orange on the camera. It's definitely red. And that finishes off for the video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this little mini process of me trying to get my fucking life together. But, yeah. That finishes off the video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, stay tuned. There's more to come.